Hello world, this is Daniel from Nerds of the Academy and we're going to be continuing Mass of Chalice today. Uh, I don't think we're going to get to the end, but I think we're getting pretty close. So let's go ahead and see how we're doing. Um, it's year 217, yeah, so we've still got some time. Uh, let's see here, we have three choices and where to defend. We can either defend our... Defend the outside territory of our keep. We can defend our crucible and get 2x experience. Or we can defend the this outside region instead and get an experience level 6 hunter. Or an, a young level 5 caber jack. Hmm. How old are my people? This is kind of important to think about. Let's see here. It's been a couple days since I played. So I've got five people, and they're all quite old, actually. How many trainees do we have? We have a bunch of trainees coming of age, though. Hmm. We have a single standard. Hmm. And our regent is sort of middle-aged. I don't know. What do we want to do here? And we're recruiting a new batch of heroes, which I don't know if... Well, by the time that's done, though, she'll be in her mid-40s. So yeah, there's a chance that she dies then, I guess. Um, I really like that 2x experience for each enemy killed. My only concern with that is that I don't see any of my active heroes becoming a regent. I mean, maybe Loathe? Mm. So they all have relics, that's pretty good. I think all, so that's level 10. Let's see here, that's level 10, Harvester. Heidi Bear is level 10. Um... I don't know about this one, guys. This is a tough. This is a tough call. Take the XP to force relics. That's sort of what I'm thinking. Like, I wonder if I bring these two characters. If I bring, um, and for some reason, my thing is cutting, getting like the top line of the chat's getting cut off today. Yeah, like what I'm thinking is like I wonder if I bring Jean and Loathe, and then I take the XP, get these guys really high level, and then get two new relics from these guys because they're gonna die pretty soon. Um, and so these guys I don't care about as much. I mean, maybe I put one of them in in the Crucible in a little while, but they've already got their relics all maxed out. And so really, the key would just be to level up these two young guys instead. I would lose that outside territory though, which would open up my keep to attack. And so I don't know. That's not amazing. It's just I don't think that I need the young Caberjack right now, is the only problem. Let's do it. Yeah, let's let's take the 2x experience. And so this will go to two, this will go to three and be gone. And so we'll have four regions left. And they might attack my keep. That's probably okay though. Yeah, I, I think the most because I'm th again I'm thinking about end game, and so right now the most important thing for end game is by year 300 I need to have five characters that have five relics that are all level 10, and the characters level 10, the relics are level 10. Like that's that's the only thing really that matters at this point, and so as long as I can, hmm, as long yeah as long as I can keep uh, keep these guys going, I think we're okay. So how many battles are there going to be relate, remaining in the game? So it's 80 years, so that's probably six battles. So, yeah, as long as I just prioritize these two. Yeah, I, I think it's probably more important for me to get two more relics right now, actually, than to get an extra dude and save this territory and prevent one more tick of corruption. 
Also, like once this region goes, it's either going to be one of one of these two, and so then it'll only, we'll only be adding one tick of corruption every turn anyway. So we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, let's, let's go with the double XP. Again, so we want to focus all of our XP on the guys that do not have relics. Because that's all that matters at this point, as far as I'm concerned. I'll put Loath in there. Um, Experience Scarf? Yeah, sure. I think that's not a bad move. Double Health Potion? How about not? Yeah, so now Bear, you guys don't need this anymore, so we'll give you the Ultra Elixirs. Hey, Apex, how you doing today? Let's go some Ultra Elixir. That looks good. Um, da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Okay, yeah, so now we're going to be focusing up these two guys, and hopefully we can get relics on these two characters. Um, oh, this is Lars Underbite Whiteheart, in case you guys can't see him. Yeah, I think this is what we want. Let's do it. We'll sacrifice the territory to hopefully get a couple more relics. Good luck. Also, we'll get the cradle kill, and so that will allow us to research the increased fertility for the final generation or two. And, you know, that's kind of nice. Yeah, how are you doing today, Apex? Are you drunk, Lars? No, you just can't see very well. Okay. Good old Heidi Bear. I think the old age also affects their sight. Is that correct, Jean? Interesting. So if I do a flask, we can't quite kill these guys in one hit. Um, let's go here. Let's let this guy come to us, I think. And they'll move the rest of our team around. Ah, uh, the pack hunter trait, okay. I'm not really worried. Excuse me, my voice is getting out of me. I'm not really worried about seeds, to be quite honest. Um, I went till nine o'clock, I think, Agent. I think like six hours. I think it was eight or eight or nine o'clock. Yeah, it was a it was a long time. Um, John, or let's go with Loath first, since Loath is almost level six. Ooh, that's a little bit dancey. There we go. Got one of them. And now we hit level 6 too, which is quite good. Okay, so let's go Acid, because we're going for damage on these guys for now. And, uh... John? Are you optimistic, John? You are optimistic. Good. That's what I thought. Let's move you up. Uh, let's just, let's just slash at this guy. There's no reason to waste a flask and potentially hurt ourselves. Man. Uh oh. Yeah, I, I watched your pre-sequel stuff, but only for a little while. I had to go get food. There we go. Yeah, that's what happens if you stream too long. Like, I don't think there's anything you can do about it either. Oh, 90 hit point cradles. Yikes. Normally I can do that long if I do it, you know, once a week or something, but it's just, for whatever reason, I, I didn't sleep very well either. And it's been really, really dry here, which is bad for your voice, just in general. Hmm, you can't quite reach the sky. Let's, uh, let's back off a bit then, I think. Yeah, you should take it easy today, Agent. You should, uh... Drink, make sure to drink a lot of water. Like, a lot, a lot. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and slash at this. Uh, yeah, let's try to slash at this guy, I guess. I mean, really, the most important thing is just, is just rest. Yeah. 
Like, I don't think anything else really matters that much. I mean, really, just lubricate your voice by drinking a lot of water. Or your throat and your... Uh, 18, really? Okay. We need to not have that happen again. But yeah, the, the main thing is just, you, you know, you have to rest your voice. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to go ahead and do Jean. Oh, we can't get any closer than that, really. That's kind of a bummer. That's not a bad shot, though. And we stun this guy. Um, let's go ahead and... Mm, we can't do anything with this other attack, so yeah, let's move up. I'm going to... I think I'm going to take the hit from this seed. I'd rather take the hit from this seed, and then I can use my heal next turn if I need to. But yeah, it's a good idea for you to just to rest your voice. Uh, let's not do that. Drink hot tea with honey and lemon. I found drinking with honey helps a little bit. I don't know. I think the biggest thing, though, is just you have to rest. Um, when you're talking about this, this many, you know, this many hours. Granted, just regular talking is not as stressful as singing or, you know, screaming or whatever, but it just takes a lot out of you. Anyway, you slice it. Oh no, come on. Ah, oh, that was terrible. How about I don't blow up my buddy now? That's unfortunate. I can't blow this guy up. Um, I might be able to slice him down. Is there anyone else that can slice just once, maybe? Yure. Mm. Do 25. Does anyone else have a flask that can do... Yeah, like, that's not bad. That'll probably crit, though. Not probably, but there's a good chance that this will crit. Let's see here. Um, what else could I do? I guess I could just go for one of these guys instead and get sure XP. I, just, I don't think that we can finish him off with this guy right now. So good. Mm. Let's try. Well, we could try the blade storm, I guess. can you throw for? You can throw for 30, yeah. But the, the problem is, it's just, it's not worth the risk, in my opinion, of blowing up my own guy. And so, there's a really, and there's a really good chance here that I move, I move this guy to the wrong spot. I should have moved him up here, I think. Um, that was a mistake. That's okay, though. Let's just do this attack. There's a fair chance that we kill him. That was not what we wanted. That's okay, though. And then let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do a hack and slash on the sweeter one here. Oh come on, really, really? Ugh. Hmm. Twenty-five. That's. Yeah. So now. I, I think it's better to take the damage from the seeds than to, um... It's better to take the damage from the seeds than to not get the XP, I think, at this point. Because we really need the relics. Yeah. I mean, they'll slash at us a little bit, but, you know, it's okay. Okay. And then, right, you are the other choice. And you just hack and slash, too. Is there anyone else that can... I think everyone else would blow this guy away. How much is the blade storm? 32 to 39? Let's not chance it. Let's just slash. Oh my gosh, really? Okay. 
guess everybody else can just rest a turn. Oh my god. Yeah, it's really, it's funny, these, the, um, the evasion on these seeds is kind of nuts. We don't want them to become a, uh, a big guy though. A cradle. That would be bad. So, let's see here. I guess we could bomb them. That's not a bad throw. We could bomb with both of my, both of my dudes. Actually, no, we don't want that. We want to bomb here. Should have moved you up last turn. Eek. We got enemies all over the place. Uh, that's not bad. We'll try that. Oh, <laughs> that's not exactly what we wanted, but it ended up being pretty good. Okay, so now I think everybody else can wait a turn. Maybe we'll bring up our other guy too. Let's bring him up to here, maybe. back up to full life. Oh man, sponge stones, I'm telling you. Sponge stones are the best. John. Okay, let's uh, let's finish off this other guy first. I think we want to attack from this angle, though. There we go. And now, let's see. Let's, oh, hey, we have a new bubble. Bees in a bottle or blade storm? Let's go blade storm. You let's go ahead and do your hack and slash this time. You might be able to get him. Maybe not. Yeah. He'll burn from the acid, so that's good. And now the rest of the guys can just hang out. Yes. Gotta power level these two guys. Okay, so now we just have to worry about that advanced cradle. This has got this guy's annoying because he has he has actual damage, and this one too. Maybe we'll mm, let's go ahead and I think we're gonna have to focus on these ones first. Let's scoot everybody up first, and hopefully we don't alert that other one that's around the corner. Do we just want to charge at him? I don't know that we do. I think he can already see us. Everything is like the Battle of Saturn's Peak, it's true. Yeah, let's just let's charge at these guys and see what we can do. Maybe it was a very maybe Saturn's Peak was a very long and uh Date, like a very long and protracted battle that had lots of different phases and lots of different parts and so everything has some part of it that was like a part of the battle of Saturn's Peak that's my that's my analysis hey we got another seed another seed kill that's gonna hurt ouch Makes me sad how we uh, went for the one guy I'm trying to level up to. That's okay though. We can do something about this. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Hack and slash. Actually, a hack and slash would be pretty good if we do that with one of these guys. There's a chance we'll kill it, but I think it's pretty low. Yeah, that was good. Perfect. And now double hack and slash. Uh, you better do it. I'm gonna do a hack and slash with this guy too. I don't think it's necessary. But it wasn't necessary, but we do get a ton of XP. That was over a thousand. Ooh, yeah, we're almost level seven. Okay, so let's go ahead and we want you to. I can't actually get over there. What's wrong with you, Lars? Are you slow? He's slow. Okay, fair enough. Let's go ahead and move here. And now you can move here, maybe, and throw your bomb. I don't think this is going to kill him. It's going to be close, but no cigar. 
There we go. Another 200 XP. Yeah. So, so yeah. The most important thing I, I think is we get the, that we get these other relics going. Because I think right. What do we have right now? Three or four? I think. I can't remember. It's been several days since I played. I haven't played since Thursday. Right. It's been a couple days. So we've got a couple seeds there, and I know another cradle. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there's another cradle poking around the corner. Let's go ahead and do hack and slash on this guy. Yeah. Okay, looks good. And now for the finishing blow. Yes, another level. We're power leveling here. I saw a post on one of the forums saying that they got characters, they got like their first level 10 character around, I think it was like year 110 or something, and I don't understand how they did that, but, um, because it's kind of a trade-off, right? Like if you put a, if you have a character that stays in battle a long time, they're not going to transfer their XP because, you know, when they, if you make them a regent or whatever, they're not, you know, they're so old, they're not going to have any kids, or they're, I mean, I think the only thing you could do is you get you make it so that they have a you have a bunch of trainees sitting around. Uh oh, hello guys. You have a bunch of trainees sitting around, and then you get your high level guy in there. So I don't know. It just seemed odd to me. Although there, I'm sure there are other fast ways you can level up your dudes. Um, you know what? I'm gonna break line of sight here. I don't want to know what these guys are doing, what they're up to. I want to pull them in closer to us, because hopefully now they'll they'll move around to to, let's see, like, maybe we can't see. I want them to be right o along the side of the wall. I don't see them, though. Uh, John, we're gonna move you here. And then, we're gonna move you to here, I think. So there's at least one more seed hanging out on that side. I just I want to know where the um, where those bulwarks went. No sign of them. Whoa, bulwarks everywhere. Bulwark party. Okay. Let's see what we got. I think this square is good. They fed all the XP to the parents, then took the children and fed them in the training buildings. That's the thing though, right? Like, if you have a character, like if you feed one character and you feed them for a battle or two and you give them all the XP, if they start out at 15, they're going to be 30 by the second battle and 45 by the, by the third battle. And so they're not going to have very many kids. I mean, I understand that you could do that. It's just, you know, you're trading off having a lot of kids for having um, high XP. For having a lot of XP for your kids. Okay, so yeah, we've got a bunch of bulwarks that we need to deal with here, guys. This is going to be a pain in the butt. Let's start with a nice shot on this one. To I think that might have killed them. I'm not sure. Let's uh let's sneak up to here actually. And then the space. Let's go here instead. This is a little bit safer. Can I actually can I can't taunt. I don't have the taunt ability. Sneak up. Oh yeah, but it did kill him. That was unfortunate. I was hoping it wouldn't. Hit all three. Might. Okay, let's go ahead and move Heidi Bear up just to make sure that we're mostly clear. Okay, we have another dude. That's unfortunate. And let's go ahead and do a stun on. We can't do that. Jean, let's move you up to here. Move you to here. 
And then I think if we throw, we're gonna run you back, actually. Slash. Hack and slash. Let's, let's just hmm, I'm gonna kill it. I could throw the flask here, knock him back to this tile, and then hit him with another tile to. Let's do that. This will be fine. If it hits. Did not hit. This might kill him. I'm not sure though. Good. Did not kill him. Same type of deal here. So here, what we want to do is uh, this probably will kill him actually. What are my odds here? 70%? There's a reasonable chance that we'll kill our buddy though. Let's just go ahead and uh, let's have her throw her flask first over to here. Because that way we know this guy's stunned. And now what we can do is, now she's already attacked and honestly she's 59. She's pretty old. So there's a, maybe like a, there's a small chance that we'll hurt her with this. We missed, but we didn't stun the guy. We did do damage, though, which is good. And now, um, you guys already moved. I don't think I can get close enough with this guy. This is going to be too far. Yeah, this, that's too dangerous. I can't blow up my guy. I'd rather take the shot. Um... I'm gonna run up to here. Yeah, so now we're gonna take a couple shots, I think, but I think it'll be okay. That was unfortunate. If only we had that exploding alchemist armor. It's quite lucky. Okay, so let's start with a nice um, you loathe. We're gonna just move you up a tiny bit. And do you are do you have asthma loathe? Why is your why do you only have three movement? Oh, you're hungover. Okay, that would explain it. Oh no, really? Now yeah, at least we got the other guy, I guess. That's kind of nice. Unfortunately, we do need to pop a heal on our buddy. Okay. That was kind of ridiculous. How did you miss that shot? Ugh. There we go. Rusty. Good job, Rusty. Okay, now um, let's see here. You're, you're taking a little bit of damage. How how does the blade storm go? Blade storm's okay. Uh, I don't know. Does blade storm ever miss? I wonder if it misses. I don't get to use it very often, but I also don't want to use it very often. That's gonna kill both of them for sure. Let's just, uh, we could heal up. That's not a bad move. Or maybe move closer to that. Maybe I can stun this other guy. Let's see here. Oh, pfft, no. Maybe get some damage off him though. Soften him up. And actually that'll push him away from the other enemy, my other allies too, which is good.
That's too dangerous. I can't do that. Now, this is the problem with alchemists, is that they're a little bit dangerous to use. Like, even here, so that means there's a 10% chance it doesn't land on this tile, which means that there's a pretty good chance it hits, you know, here or here, and so... You feel like blade storms for when you know you screwed up? Yeah, probably. Uh, this is gonna kill him. I'd rather just take the shot, I think. Is there anyone that I can heal up that's useful? I'd like to heal up her, but... You know, I think just skirt around the back of this pole and then take the shots. There's a chance we'll lose this old character this turn, but I think we'll be okay. Wow. Yeah, I agree, though. Bladestorm's... I mean, if it completely avoided, if it ignored evasion, it could be really good against seeds in particular. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. There are too many seeds. Oh, hey, they hurt their own seed. That was kind of nice. Okay, so let's see here. Let's seed here. Ha 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 ha. Okay, um... Let's see. Rusty, we're going to move you up. And I'm going to have you throw your last knockback flask on. Oh, actually, no. I'm going to throw it uh, here. Good job, Rusty. And now, let's see. Who was our other guy? Heidi Bear? No, no, no. It was uh, Loathe. I don't think Loathe is going to have a good shot here. Maybe? Oh, you're out of flasks anyway. Never mind. Yeah, just, just ha hack this guy up if you would. Be so kind. Okay, maybe not. Um, could use a potion. Let's just go ahead and hack this other one, though. Isn't what I want to do, but okay. And now smooth. Let's let's drop a uh, healing potion on your buddy here. We have a couple extra ones. I know it's only six life, but getting them above that twenty life threshold is kind of important because that is what the artillery will do <laughs> if we miss it. So. Too many seeds. Yeah, as long as we don't let the seeds form additional cradles, I think we're fine. Maybe the, they, these guys might form a new one. We'll see. 15. Okay, so this guy's probably going to die in the next shot. Next artillery shot, that is. Hmm. Okay, um... Okay, so both of my main guys are out of flasks, so I think it's just down to uh, slash some seeds. It's time to slash some seeds up here if we can. Just get a little bit of XP on them. 50%? Okay, well that, that should burn the uh, guy down on his turn. So let's go ahead and do... Yeah, we'll start chopping away at these other guys. And then now we probably need to move closer. Slash this guy? That's okay. Let's see if we reveal anybody else first. Oops. Oh, yep. There's that other one that we were looking for a little bit ago. 40 to 42. Yeah, that's going to kill it. Dang it. I wonder if they'll shoot when they're that close. Wait, did I not heal her? I didn't heal her, did I? Oh, that was dumb. She's gonna die now. Uh, oops. I totally forgot about that. Ah, well. Thank you for being our advanced scout. No! That's okay. Okay. 
we get the relic back, which is what we wanted anyway. Yeah, like, this is a good blade storm time, I think. Gosh, seriously? 17 on a miss? Yikes. Uh, right. Dang it. We need to get you guys in there. I think we just have to kill them, guys. Especially because because we got a low low oh hey low you got a uh, you got a new nickname congratulations whispers white uh, art yeah the problem with loathe is that loathe is slow and that really makes this kind of stuff painful hack and slash wait who had the who had the blade storm I need to send one of you guys just charging at that other guy though. Hmm. You've already moved. Let's move you to here. And then we'll have you use your heal. Okay. It's looking good. And now, yeah, I think we just have we have to charge these guys. I think we have to ignore the seeds for now. Or at least mostly ignore them. Because it's gonna take a couple turns to yeah, finish these guys off. And we just have to get there, right? That's the problem. Decision. Don't shoot me, bro. Man, those shots are annoying. No! <sighs> Dang it. Okay. Now we just need to kill him. They both targeted the same guy. That wasn't very nice. Slow is just killing me. Or the drunkenness, rather. Um, let's move you out of the way here. Let's have you go here. And now... Now we gonna, we're going to throw over here. This should be pretty good. Yeah, it should finish well off. Now, I think this is the last big guy that we have to deal with. Ugh. I don't like how the cradles get two attacks every turn. Makes me sad. Especially because one of them just kills you. If it hits you. <laughs> uh, it'll not it doesn't kill you, technically, but it does a lot. It does a lot of damage. Oh my gosh, that movement is just so obnoxiously slow. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Eh, no, let's just go in, go in close. Or throw. Let's throw. Whoa, did not mean to do that. That's okay, though. Now we can mop up these last couple dudes. We got a level. I guess that's okay. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's hack and slash. I think we can take the last couple hits here. Or make take hits here and make sure that our guy, our other dude, gets leveled up. Yeah, I don't know. I have mixed feelings, feelings about Bladestorm. I, I just, it seems like it's not good enough. It's not good against enough kinds of enemies to make it uh, a really great ability. I think it's really only good against seeds. I mean, if you're surrounded by bulwarks or surrounded by lapses or anything, I don't know. I guess it's not its not awful. I just, I'm not convinced that it's any good. I suppose I just, I haven't been in a situation where 
I just know, like, oh, this is the blade storm saved me. Whereas, like, I've been in a situation where the caper jack's knockback has saved me, or, like, I've been in a situation where, you know, having an extra few life has saved you. Speaking of which, I should probably equip Vitalibans on everybody now. That's hack and slashing. Yeah. Okay, well, hopefully we get a relic from that other guy. And look at all those bodies. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks, right. like we we, it looks like we did. Take a breather. We looks like we did get a relic. Up, good. And we should get one from Loathe as well. Lars. Let's. The bees are just too dangerous. Let's get that. Oh, so far everything's going according to plan. Heidi Whiteheart has died. Okay, so we got the new relic. Or this is the old relic. Um, yeah, so this is a high level relic. Alyssa? A brainy but a slow learner. Sickly and a slow learner. Brainy and a slow learner. Okay, Anna. Flincher. Nadini? Let's give this to Anna. I'm trying to think. So if we give the high-powered relic, do we give the high-powered relic to someone that's going to be weaker and to try to make up for their power? Or do we give it to some... I mean, basically, we don't want to give it to someone that we think might be the regent. And so the regent is probably going to be maybe Elisa. No. It's going to be one of the, the brainy babies. Eric. Hawkeye, Brainy, Impressionable, that's really good. So Eric is probably going to be the next regent. So let's go ahead and give this one to uh, Elisa. Elis Actually, no. Let's give this to... Let's give this one to Anna. Jean Whiteheart has died heroically in battle at the age of 44. However, the legend will survive in the Bloodline Relics. Okay, good. So we got a new relic. This is all going according to plan. The Matchmaker. Let's go ahead and give this one to... Um, let's give this one to... Elisa? Anna. I don't like... that. That's okay, I guess. I'm trying to think. Because that way she'll do a lot of damage, but she won't get a huge amount of XP. Let's give this one to Elisa. I think that's good. I think we want to give a low-level relic to somebody with Brainy. Because that way they'll do more damage with it. Okay, let's just let's check it out, by the way. Oh, we can't see it yet, because she's not the page yet. I wonder if I should cancel my research and start researching the, um... Start researching the fertility upgrade instead. That would save me about four or five years later on. So, so my thought process is... Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Let's just, let's do it. Yeah, because we, we need the fertility boost, I think. I think that'll be critical to our end game. Let's uh, let's just grab some new heroes. Let's finish grabbing the new heroes. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, got some new people. So we have um, oh hey they're level four too. It's not bad. Uh, Brian Weber, who's nimble and hawk-eyed, a caberjack, but sluggish. That's not amazing. We have Madeline Valgard who's low fertility, clumsy, and a rebel, so she's kind of all kinds of trouble. We have uh, Sheridan Dunedain. We've had the Dunedain family before, who's nimble, kingmaker, reckless, and nervous. Nervous is pretty terrible. Uh, Wilhelm Brass is brainy and quick, faint-hearted, nervous, and rebel. So this is kind of a, he's kind of a mixed bag. I think I'd probably rather have neutral traits rather than nervous and faint-hearted, especially for my final generation. And Pelinor Faultless, a uh, hunter who's bountiful, cocky, alert, and oblivious. That's pretty good. I would say alert's better. I'd say alert, bountiful and alert outweigh the other one. So we've got a new guy. That's kind of cool. Let's go, yeah, let's go ahead and get the uh, fertility boost going. It's going to take 24 years. Sounds good. And we already, have a we already have our next generation, so we should be fine in terms of not having to adopt new babies or that kind of thing. This might take some thought. I'm glad I don't have your job today. 
the standard or uh, your standard Orlando Whiteheart has reluctantly come forward with Madeline Valgard to give you some surprising news. They've had a child together without your approval. In a war, uh, every decision must be arrived at carefully with with much thought and consideration. Uh, your heroes cannot see how their choices will affect the future and what you can. What, uh, well, like you can, and so such decision must always be made by you. What do you do? Uh, let's see here. Let the baby choose who will stay and who will be exiled. Ex or exile both of them, but keep the baby. Uh, that's not awful. I think that wouldn't be terrible. Giving the baby to an orphanage is really bad because most of the time when you do that, they just, you lose both of your heroes. At least that's every time I've done this event, that's what's happened. So let's go ahead and hmm, do we want to keep the baby? This is an option to get rid of a sort of ma medium old uh, standard, like and get a level nine standard in there. Exile both of them and keep the baby, or even get loath in there. Load is pretty high level too. I think that's better. I think exile them and keep the baby. Drop the baby in our keep and then put Ure on there. Because then we'll still have we'll still have our relics, correct? How many relics would we have here? We'd have we'd have at least one we'd have one level ten relic and one low level relic. That's okay. Oh, would we lose the relic if we exile wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Hang on. Does this guy have a relic? He does not have a relic. Okay. Um, that Tranquil's pretty good, though. Yeah, I, I, I'm not opposed to, to exiling both of them and keeping the baby. What do you think, Agent? Too goofy? I mean, if we exile both of them, we could go from a level 5 standard to a level 9 standard, which is pretty good. Um, Orlando, we might not get a relic from him. If he, di if he dies, we might get a relic from him because he's level 5. I don't think so, though. I think we need um, someone a little bit better. Or do you think let the baby choose? So if we let the baby choose, as far as I know, there's like basically a 50-50 chance that we lose one of these guys. We let the child choose which parent to kill. Okay. Let the baby choose who will stay and who will be exiled. Roller baby. Orlando stands to your left and Madeline to your right as the child is placed between them. Neither of the parents make a move or sound. They just look uh, on with an unabashed love. Finally, the infant laughs and starts rolling towards Orlando. It's such an absurd sight that everyone can't help but laugh as well, even as Madeline is escorting out of the throne room. Madeline Valgard has been uh, exiled, but the newborn baby can now be uh, can now be raised to become a hero. Okay. I guess we had a new baby. I would have preferred to get the. I think that's the wrong play. Um, Jolly. Okay. Is sickly. Okay. I think that's the wrong play. I think you exile the standard and get the additional XP on that one. I guess Orlando's 57, so he's gonna die soon-ish. But. Oh, hey, we had a new baby. Okay, how's a Jolly doing? So sick. Nathan Whiteheart. Brainy and hawk-eyed. Excellent. Yeah, so, that, so how are we doing in terms of leveling everybody up? So we're starting out at about level 5 or 6. That's not bad. Throw the baby in the chalice. I think that's the wrong play, though. Because we're losing... I guess, you know what, we don't have that many babies, though. That are, We don't have that many people training, so maybe it's not that big a deal. If we had six people training or eight people training, maybe it would be a bigger deal. Lars Whiteheart has died at 67. We got our relic back. Okay, the fleeting smile. So we want Loathe to give us a new relic. Um, and we want Elisa. Let me level you up, huh? Uh, think about that. 
Let me think. So, so we have quite a few characters. We have quite a few heroes. Um, but we need more relics. Is the tr is the trick? So we need five, probably more like seven. Um, so Yure has one already. He's got one that's completely leveled up. So we want Loth to produce us a new one. So we don't want to give one to him. And Anna, we want you to be sort of a carry for now. And Medini. I'm okay with you dying in battle, actually. Let's see, Robert. Pessimistic, slow learner, sickly, oblivious. Let's give this to Robert. Robert seems, I don't know. Or Eric. Eric's going to be our new heir, most likely. And so we don't want to do that, if possible. Our new uh, parent. Huh. Yeah, so we need to get more XP, let's see. But how do we want to do this? Uh, let's focus the XP on Loathe and Elisa, because Elisa's got, oh, never mind. She's tranquil, that's not bad. On Anna. So Anna's gonna carry us. Did I do that wrong? Sickly, slow, oblivious. Hmm. Jolly. Hmm. I think we want to give it to somebody that we have access to. Um, and someone that we don't necessarily want to die right away. Like, Elisa's okay, I guess. But a increased accuracy is nice. And then Anna. Who had the new one? Oh, Elisa has it. Okay, or Alyssa. Alyssa had that one. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. And then, let's see here. So let's go ahead and give this to Medini, I guess. Optimistic. Let's give this to Elisa for the Tranquil. So this will be kind of nice. So this will be a backup. Uh, the idea is by giving the high level relic to somebody that has um, Tranquil, they're kind of a backup character. Murder Wood has died. Oh no. Uh, do we have anybody that's useful? Um, the answer is we have no female characters available for you to marry. So let's... Um, Faint-hearted, nervous, faultless, boom striker, bountiful, cocky, alert. Let's... You're 50. Let's not marry anyone in yet because we're probably going to get a battle soon. And we can. We, there's a good chance we'll be able to choose the the female character if they give us one. So let's just. And if he dies, you know, in a few years, that's fine too. Uh, 25% reduction in research time. I like that plan. 